Hi everyone. Um, first, sorry for my English. I never learn, uh, so uh, it's really bad. But uh, I want to uh, try to explain how my script works because um, I think it's really easy to use and uh, really nice to uh, to create uh, to manage your uh, render. So um, for uh, first, uh, thank you so much to. Um, to uh, Moha, he created an uh, amazing uh, tutorial to uh, explain how create an uh, kit um, to uh, to model. So uh, thank you very much, uh, Moha, for for that. Um, so uh, for install my script, it's really simple. You you can simply uh, put all your um, folder on your um, uh, user script uh, folder. So how it is work? Um, if you want to create uh, this kind of uh, of settings, uh, I have here uh, scene one, camera one, camera one, and here I have the the three paths with it in in uh, each uh, folder. I have the um, uh, the images uh, rendered. On uh, with my uh, script, so uh, here I I have uh, prepared uh, a little scene to uh, to explain. So it's really really nice. It's really simple to uh, only that for uh, for explanation. I um, uh, also uh, realize the I use here the pa the past groups, and uh, now it's really nice tool, but it's really young uh, and it's not working very well with uh, animation. But with my script, it's working. Uh, because if you uh, want to render uh, pass groups uh, with uh, uh, images, not all images as rendered. But with my script, uh, I I found if you um, put the name on each um, on each file here, so uh, and you uh, you launch the renderer, it's uh, working. So. I try to um, to explain how create um, uh, the render setting for for this scene. So here I have only three simple passes. It's only for explanation. Uh, I have the first only the background. After I have the foreground only the the hippo and uh, one edge pass. I uh, backed the um, uh, NPR kit. It's really nice, really, really nice. So uh, I have these three uh, passes, and I want to set for each uh, for each one. I want to uh, create some uh, specific render uh, for this um, uh, this scene. So uh, to to do that, I create three uh, group one for each passes after I I uh, here I put the name I want to create a folder in so for the the first I put back uh, background ground and edge okay now I want to create for each passes some specific uh, render for uh, for these passes so I start with the uh, the background so uh, when you um, when you create your uh, your passes, you need to to put uh, here. It's be better uh, because if you change any anything after it, uh, it's it's um, uh, save on uh, on specific uh, passes. So you need to come back on the on the root uh, passes. 
So when you um, put my plugin on place, you can now simply launch the script with this button. And now you you can hear. Uh, I try to explain how how this work. So the first you need to choose the root render of your uh, animation. So simply I click on my on my scene and here I want to create the new uh, folder I put the scene 2 I want to create for camera camera 1 and here I put the name the base name of my uh, of my uh, uh, of my scene, so scene two, camera one, and here I have the the base name of my uh, of my uh, of my scene. So now it's simply it's simply to uh, to select which uh, which. Uh, group you want to uh, to create a passes and now you can simply choose what do you want on this uh, on this group so i for for background i want to uh, color alpha def no i want to uh, motion and shadow and reflection so i put this and now i can only simply create, uh, put the create update button like that. Here, it's uh, if uh, ask you if you want to create the folder structure. I now I I, I don't want to create that. I want to want to be sure it's a, uh, it's a just name. So I, I put no, but it's create my new passes which for each if you look uh, here I have the my you can uh, you can see I have the background shadow it's for shadow uh, entity and the name of my file sc2 s2 c1 shadow and for each passes you can create um, this uh, these settings. So now for the foreground, I want the same. So I only need to create another. Now I don't want, so I simply check. So I scene two foreground shadow C two C one. Okay. And for the the edge, I want only the because the edge it's not not have the the ray tracing it's uh, it's uh, uh, most uh, uh, it's uh, it's the pass I don't have the ray tracing so it's fast to calculate so I I can't uh, put the ambient occlusion the motion vector and the diff def uh, mask so and the color as well and I simply create the I say no and I check if it's okay for me so send to camera 1 H motion and C2 C1 um, now if I, uh, I am happy with that I can't simply the put the button, uh, button um, here um, update only existing render output this is it's um, it's uh, it's really nice if you want to uh, to create a new scene with uh, the setting it's already there so you can only uh, update and e uh, check if all it's alright and create the new name if you change the, the, the name here the fourth update blank uh, field name it's if you uh, check here I have the alpha and uh, uh, if I update it's not uh, change anything because uh, if you know that if here I have the alpha 
the alpha it's going to uh, to write on disk with this name file if I uh, blank this um, this field the alpha it's stored with the color uh, color image so I don't want the alpha separately so I only simply delete that okay but if I want to uh, to uh, force that I can't update with uh, with this um, I I found a little uh, work I want if you uh, you want to render passes with uh, with the new uh, uh, tool on C61 uh, the render pass I uh, I saw a little uh, bug so if I want to render it tell me if I have this on the on the layer it's um, it have the the uh, in, in tell me a, a, an error and he want he don't want to render so I uh, leave these two on on the top but if in in don't have the 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 name here it don't want to uh, to store on on the disk it's only for work I want for uh, for make it work so now I want to create uh, my um, I want to create the st folder structure if I uh, maybe I already uh, I think I already uh, ah no it's a scene 2 sorry camera 1 I have here my folder it's uh, it's empty so now it's I have only put the new buttons uh, the updates and now I tell I want to create the, the folder structure I I I can uh, all uh, I can uh, put yes all the time but for for uh, this explanation it's only at the end so I put ok and now I see on my folder all folder as created with the the, the the great name so I have my whole structure on my uh, on my disk it's already set it with this uh, this setting so now I need only to uh, I uh, I show for for it sorry very sorry for my English uh, so for its work I um, uh, hide this, uh, this tree now I choose my uh, my passes for ground uh, background sorry I active the background now I go to foreground I put the foreground and now the edge and I'm ready to go so now if I go for the render animation I can simply I, I can create 10 frame and image second and the render manager demo pass when I click OK it tell me if I want to use the specific uh, field in the render output I'll put yes and we can see now the background, the foreground, and and now I can check if it's already there. Uh, so I so send to camera one color. I see the color. I see the motion. I see the reflection, ref mask, and if I want to age color, I have the how I can check yes it there so it's working nice and um, now it's uh, what it's nice with this uh, plugin if I wait the this 10 frame oh, I can I can stop okay so 
now I am I am happy, but now I want to change for the the new uh, the new camera. So now I uh, go on my uh, uh, root uh, passes. And I ch change the uh, I change the camera too. Now we w we see the it's only the other uh, point of view, and now I want to change the the name of all this uh, uh, all this uh, this folder so it's really easy I need only to change the name so I want to send to camera 2 and uh, camera 2 no, uh, send to camera 2 okay and I click update and I create yes and it's changing for the send to camera 2 and it's done so I I can now relaunch the render and it's it's, uh, it's finished okay so uh, this I it's work so uh, I have the some little uh, trick you can uh, you can uh, create I have here the preference it's uh, allowed to uh, 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 choose for each passes the name of the folder and the suffix of the name of the file this uh, format uh, image format for each passes and is gamma for uh, for each uh, of um, of uh, passes so when you you create in on your own preference you can save and when you apply it's it's pick of these uh, settings to create your uh, your uh, pass and um, now i have on, uh, if if i don't know I don't have the name here. I I load the uh, the old scene and I want to uh, grab the the settings. I can simply uh, grab uh, all these settings and put the grab active render output and it uh, pick the the name and it's uh, pick also the gamma the format and uh, if uh, if you have the the occlusion and the uh, depth it's also grab the the um, uh, settings of uh, of this uh, layer so you can easily to uh, put uh, on the old uh, uh, render on pick of your new uh, scene and transfer on the the older scene so uh, that's it. So if you want to download or buy me a cafe, uh, you can uh, you can uh, do that. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, sorry again for my English and uh, have a nice nice day. Bye.